Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on stem and leaf diagrams. So in this video we'll be looking at a couple of different examples. Uh, so these are the types of questions that you might come up against in an exam. Uh, so let's just run through them then. So Scott measured the height of all the people in his choir. The values in centimetres are given below. Draw a stem and leaf diagram to represent Scott's data. Uh, well first things first, uh, the structure of the diagram should be like this. So you have on the left hand side the stem and on the right hand side is the leaf. So the next thing we have to do is go through each of the values and list them on the diagram. Uh, and the way we do that is as follows. So we look for the uh, smallest value first. So if we go through all of these numbers in the list of heights, we can see that the smallest number is 153. So let's cross that off and we'll write 15 here and three on the right. So what this means uh, is if the stem is 150 and the leaf is 3, that means the value is 153. Uh, so now we can formulate a key. Uh, so the key is essential to all stem and leaf diagrams. Uh, so our key will be 15 and then a line and 3. And then we say what that is equal to. So that's 153. So if we continue this process then for the rest of the heights, so the next smallest value is 154. Now that appears twice, uh, so we put it in the stem and leaf diagram twice and then that's it for the 150s so we'll move on to the 160s next and the smallest value is 162 so we'll cross that off and add it to the diagram so we add a stem of 16 or 16 and then a leaf of 2 uh, and then next we have 165 and then after that it's 169 so if we move on to the values in the 170s then uh, the next one will be 172 so we'll add that to the diagram and then we have 176 and now that appears three times so we add it three times to the diagram and then we have 177 so that is there and then we'll move on to the 180s now so notice how there's a value of 180 so we put a zero uh, in the leaf section of the diagram and then the next values are 182 186 and 187 so let's add those and then finally, the last value on the diagram will be 190. So that's how to draw a complete stem and leaf diagram. Uh, you could use any value for the key. Uh, I just like to do it first with the first value and then it's done and it's out of the way. Uh, but let's move on to a second example now. So the second example then, Ramona collected the ages of her colleagues and recorded the results in the following stem and leaf diagram. Find the mode, the median and the range of her colleagues' ages. Now, if you're not familiar with these terms, there is a video that we have on the mean, the mode, the median, and the range. Uh, so I, I suggest that you go and check that out if you're not familiar. Uh, but otherwise, let's continue. Uh, so the mode is the most common value. Uh, and as we can see in the 30 stem, uh, the leaf of 2, that gives us a value of 32. That appears three times, which is more than any other value. Uh, so therefore, the mode is 32. Now, as for the median, uh, there's a good method that you can use for a stem and leaf diagram, and that's to cross off the smallest and the largest values, uh, and then the second smallest and the second largest values, and just keep going with that method. So, gives us a value of 32 again. Uh, so that's the, the only one that's left. So that's the middle value. Uh, so the median is 32. So finally then, the range, now the range is the largest value minus the smallest value. Uh, so if I just rub out these markings, you can see that the largest value is 55 and the smallest value is 19. So that gives us a range of 36. Uh, now all these three is all you would need to do to get all three marks in this question. If you'd like to get some practice with some stem and leaf exam style questions, you can do so with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform. And if you take the test, You'll find loads of different questions to have a go at and you get instant feedback on everything. So you can find out which areas you're strong at, which areas you're weak at and where you need to improve. So if you're interested and you want to take the test, then you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.